the number of days that it takes for a for sale to go to a sold. So in an increasingly competitive market, how do you score that home of your dreams? As Jason Valentine shows us, there's actually a strategy, and you got to get in the game and run a little interference. Any given Sunday, on second and 15, screen pass, the idea that any team can win any game. And the extra point, you heard it. But in the Valley, that concept expands beyond flags, first downs, and false starts. There's a flag down, and he's down across the 35. It also applies to prospective homeowners. I think the people that are out looking here in the NFL games, they're real buyers. Even Sunday, any buyer can get any home if the timing is just right. If there's a Nathan Pierce with people at home and removes the competition from the field of play. Finally, touchdown, Arizona. Clearing the way for those who are serious about scoring a housing touchdown. If you need that competitive edge as a buyer, then go out when there's a lot of people that are sitting at home. Pierce says move-in ready homes in great locations always go fast. Loves it far side, intercepted by Matthew at the 40. So if that's what you're searching for, you're going to have to go forward on fourth down. You need to do everything in your power to have a leg up against your competition. Even if that means setting the DVR. Don't check social media. Yeah, put earplugs in, uh, you know, and just keep your head down. You're not going to find out the score. I'm Jason Valentine, CBS 5 News. All right, thanks, Jason. Now, this whole strategy of house hunting during football games has actually got a name for it. It's been dubbed the Seahawks strategy. Yeah, that is because data shows that the home buyers in Seattle actually have an advantage when that 12th man is at home watching the game. All right, still to come, seen becoming Santa Claus. <laughs> but he is not ducking down chimneys. Next, he hits the road to show you how all of those holiday gifts get to your doorstep.